What's up people and welcome to my tutorial in pragmatic data science. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at jacquard coefficient which uh, is a way of checking the similarity between two sets. So in the previous similarity measurements we have been using similarities that are based on some kind of real value number. Kind of like from the data set if you imagine the temperature in Fahrenheit for example and you can imagine dates also that have real values. And the Jacquard coefficient is instead based of uh, if something exists in a set or not. So it's going to be really efficient for checking the similarity in these cases where we have a yes and no answer that are binary, basically. So the way we do it is like this. So you would take the M11, and the M11 values are the number of items that are in both sets. So in the cases where both of the indexes are yes here, like yes, yes. That that's going to give you a, M, a plus into this variable, and the M one zero is basically the number of items that only exist in set A. Basically, where there is a let's say a yes here and a no here, and you would count how many of these there are, and then M zero one is the opposite, where you only have in reverse order where it only exists in set B and then how many of those there are. So and then you then you sum them up together and you do this division. Really. So in order to clarify this a little bit, if you want to take the Jacquard coefficient uh, between the set A and B, you would take, first you would take the intersection, and that means that you would uh, count the number of items that exist in both sets, basically this uh, blue or purple section right here. And you count how many of uh, how many of these items are. But that, that's going to give you the this section right here. And then you're going to take that divided by the union of the two sets. And that means that you would calculate how many items there are in this set, how many cal uh, items there are in this set, and then how many items there are in this set, and then sum, sum them up. And that is going to give you the union, basically, all of these. And then just uh, divide uh, these two numbers together. Right, so that is going to give you the card coefficient between A and B, right? So that is all for this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and if you have any comments or remarks, leave in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you. See you. Bye-bye.